All right, so what were we doing last time? Oh yeah, we found out that, ooh, wow, that was a bit of a lag. We found out that Natali has a bad heart, so if she goes into cryogenics, she has a chance of dying. Good chance of never waking up either. And I don't understand why you would have these closed. Why would you not want to have this open at all times in C-Space? It's so pretty. This one too, there we go. Look at space and all its glorious, glorious process. Wash our hands while we're doing it. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we explored everything in these two offices that we can. Let's see, personal quarters. We've been in her room yet? We have been in her room. Okay. I'm just trying to get a, a basic idea of what we did last time. Alright. She's got books. She's got stuff. Alright, cool. Alright, let's get moving. The cat better not die. Dude, I don't want it to die either. I do not want it to die either. Alright, so. It's 94% done. Or 50% done. So we need to go over to the botany area. And check out what's happening in botany. This is Andrew's whole, like, workspace, so we'll see what he's up to. At least it's Andrew. I think it's Andrew. Alright, so personal quarters, food supply, botanist office. Let's go in here. Oh, look at this. Not feeling good? Eat a tomato! You feel better! Oh, I love tomatoes. Tomatoes are delicious. Okay, look at this. <gasps> Chicken supply! Supplies are good. Fish supplies are low. They like to eat a lot of fish here. Cow? So-so. And more cow. Oh, they have lots of beef. Protein medium all-purpose. Huh. Exclusively for developing protein food sources on Ventura's properties. Oh. Ew. So you basically pour this inside of it and it turns it into genetically modified meat paste. Good. Yum. Oh, look at all these mushrooms. You don't like tomatoes? Oh, it's okay, Ethereal. I didn't like tomatoes for a long time and then one day it just clicked and I was just like, you know what? This is actually really good. Bacteria grown meat, indeed. This is pretty in here. Andrew's quarters. Here we go. Is there anything in here, Andrew, that you want to play? No playbacks? Oh, I love these old, old, like, watercolor um, charts of, like, plants. It's so pretty. Alright, so he has, let's see, what's, what's this? He's got himself some vegetarian mix. What's this? Pencil tin. Oh. That's really cool. He likes to draw. Oh, that's him? Oh, that's baby Andrew and Mama Andrew. So cute. Alright. What are these things? Oh. He's missing a stone. <gasps> He's missing a stone. Is it in here? Chopsticks? Alright, let's throw that away. Uh, He's missing a stone. What's this? Basically, you don't eat tomatoes raw. T tomatoes, tomatoes raw is really delicious. You eat them like apples? Yeah, that's really good. So happy, but I just looked at Kakaja's channel and I treat. He's the quoting video and it was sad. Oh, his quitting video? Yeah. He, he comes and goes. He might come back in a year. Right now, he's just taking a long break. All right, so this says Ventura's technology policy changes request page four. I hereby request the following exception to Ventura's cor uh, corporate policy. Policy something calendar official. I request an official corporate day of mourning to be instituted on September 15th of each year memorializing the Tibetan genocide of 2052. That's a good request. My family and thousands of others were indelibly sundered, sundered, yeah, in this horrific uh, ethnic cleansing event. My parents and I escaped Tibet as refugees. My grandmother, like so many others, was not so lucky. Her memory spurs to me to make this request once more. Days of memorial life like this are crucial to ensuring that the memory of the people and traditions lost in this terrible incident. That's that's a really valid and good request. That sucks. Alright, so that's Andrew. He's Tibetan then. 
This, uh... Fountain of Paradise. Interesting. Where's Andrew? Let's get that away. Congratulations, Venturas Belt property owner. Dear contractor in good standing. This message confirms completion of your quest currency conversion. Loyalty has been removed from your account as a value of 154,155 SGD. As when applied to your Valenteris Belt Employee Investment Plan pre-registration fee, you are now a proud owner of Orbital Bungalow 10182 in the Venturis Belt. Oh, he just bought a house! Sad. Hey everyone, my orchids have been growing gloriously in botany this winter and they're ready to be propagated. If anyone like a small orchid plant to brighten up their bunk, let me know. Aww. He's also making everybody little plants too. That's so sad. Right, well, he's missing one of these balls. Ah, and he's a very, very good drawer. Cool. I wonder if we find the ball. Maybe he'll like open up like a secret. O two eight one. O two eight one. It's good to know. O two eight one. All right. Well, it's a good thing I checked his office first. No, I don't need that. I don't need that. Close. Crap. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, are you guys talking about the recordings on Saturday? Yeah, we recorded a lot of stuff, and then Ash's computer decided that the audio wasn't good enough and decided that it needed to sound like chipmunks. So we basically lost like three hours of recording. Whoa! So we were really tired when everything was done. All right, what do you say, folks? Yay or nay? Obviously, we we're on board. I mean, me too. Okay. All right. Well, we non-essential personnel need to figure out how to do everything we can to set this mission up for success, then get the hell out of your way as quickly as possible. Time is oxygen, people. Break. Uh, I can't okay. Before we do that, let's look in here. All right. So let's see. She says, "Urgent C subject. I'm a. I'm in Botany already. Get here." All hands meeting right now. Okay, so this is the meeting that she's talking about. Message with Sarah. Standard practices is don't use cryo for any longer than absolutely necessary. That's not what I ask. Sorry, right. 72 hours without serious risk of brain damage. Past that and you're really pushing it. How much oxygen? I mean, hardly any at all. Wait, where are you going with this? Alright, so she's trying to get ideas on how to do this cryo thing. Message with Intali. Uh-huh. But Bert says she could do her part in the time we have if she doesn't sleep, and... And I need to write up a serious layer of interpretive code for us to pilot it from the inside, but it's going to be tight. And if you had more than 40 hours to work with, every little bit would help. Okay. So basically, Evie's planning this whole thing where she's basically um, trying to get them in cryo sleep. Alright, but what if we are sending it down to get supplies? What if we're sending ourselves down? In the delivery drone? Yes, with some modifications. The bigger issue would be its lack of life support. Salvage from the Tacoma, we could rig up an oxygen pressure climate control probably area, drone down to Luna and get home from there. If we're not confident in V2 making it up here before it OT runs out, we can't call for pickup. Getting down to Luna is our only really hope. Alright. Oh man, that's that's scary. Being here and having to figure out what to do. At least they're close to the moon? And it's been 70, yeah, 72 hours since the accident. I think it has been. So I'm hoping that they're okay. Um, I'll head downstairs and get started on. Oh my god. Okay. So now we actually have to build this. Hey, Andrew. Thing. Yeah, that was the whole point. Right, let's yeah. rewind this a little bit. Right. All right. Let's follow these two. Everybody went along with this. I didn't expect them to either. Oh my god. So now we actually have to build this thing. Yeah, that was the whole point. Yeah. Hold on, I need to ask Evie something. Are you okay? Evie! Hey, Evie, hey, um, I know you're all like gung-ho to help us out and everything, but I did the math. Uh, if we could get this done in like 48 hours, not 72. Could the rest of us wait longer to go in? Exactly. Listen, ladies, I get it. You're trying to do right by us, but every minute we wait to go in is a minute you don't have to get this thing flying. And knowing what we know about VT, we've got to give you every chance we can to succeed. 
So there's no way we can convince you? We made a plan. Now we just need to hold up our end of the bargain. Hmm. Then I guess we should stop wasting time and get to work. Alright, I'm gonna follow these two. This is gonna be good, Evie. You just wait. <laughs> right of your life. More ways than one. Okay, where do we start? Start? I got things started as soon as this all went down. I'll show you what I've got lined up. To the workshops! Open. Hey, 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 okay. So the moment I leave, it stops. Okay. So I can't go any further than that. Let's back up. Great. I'll um, I'll head downstairs and get started. Right, let's follow these two's conversation, and then we'll go off okay. with Sarah and Andrew. You want to talk? Yeah. Sure. Evie. Evie, are are you okay? Evie. Hey, Evie. Okay. Hey, um, I know you're all like gung ho to help us out and everything, but hmm. I did the math. Uh, if we could get this done in like 48 hours, not 70. Right, we already heard this part. Let's go back in here. Oh, we just need to hold up our end of the bargain. Then I guess we should get to work. All right, get here. Go. Good, go. Shoo. Well, listen to these two. In more ways than one. Oh, look how pretty this is. There's grass and everything, and little... I didn't think things would end like this. Did you? What oh. do you mean, end? Come on, Clive. What? You really think they can turn that thing into a passenger vehicle in two days? We might as well hold our breath and just try dog paddling over there. <laughs> but... Listen, it's, it's okay. We know it's not safe working up here. We just don't think hmm. about it a lot, but here we are. And we knew it all along. But VT could... VT's not fucking coming, Clive! VT's not fucking coming. Oh shit. You think sending a crew up here at the drop of a hat just to check on things is worth it to them? Dollars and cents, Clive. You know what one of those fuckers said to me one time? Oh, if God. it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. Them sending a crew up in time, it just doesn't make sense. God, that so you're just sucks. Giving up, then? No. We're doing what we said we'd do. Bert and Nat, they are our only shot and we have got to take it. But I can also be realistic that Evie. I don't want to be realistic with you. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is so sad. Well, Time to go make mm. final preparations then. <laughs> but not too finally. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm picturing it. The day we'll be walking together, like this. The gravity, it won't be artificial. I mean, isn't it strange? We've, we've never felt the Earth's pull together. One day. This is so depressing. Oh man. Oh man. Evie, do you think you could get everyone to medical? I, I want to make sure they've got the best shot at waking back up once they do go in. Uh, all right. How about this? Let's give folks a little time to regroup. But why don't Clive and I follow you over there right now and get ours done? No time like the present. Lead the way. Okay, then I open this door. Yeah, it stops. Okay. Hey, Evie. I... Hello. Oh, poor Andrew. He's stuck down here by himself. Guess I'll catch up with you all later then. All right, <laughs> it's time to rewind everything. That's so sad. Let's go further a bit. I head downstairs and get started on. Way as quickly as possible. Time is oxygen, people. Okay. Break. Is Clive a giant? Yeah, he's really tall. I'll head downstairs and get started on. Oh my something. god. Okay. Hey, Andrew. Andrew. Yeah. Sure. Hey, are are you okay? Evie. Hey. Nope, I'm not. Okay. Oh shit! You saw that, right? Yeah, that was the whole point. I'm not. 
Nope, I'm not. Nope, I'm not. Oh, it's yes. Oh, two, eight, one. That's right. Okay. Whoo! What do you want to talk about? I can't do it. Uh, I can't. I can't. I... Whew. This is all crazy. But you said you... I know. I, okay, I know what I said. But I... What was I supposed to say? You all... You all pressured me. Andrew. <laughs> they really expect us to climb into some jury rig thing and ride it through space? Just because God. VT might not come pick us up. It, it's insane. And first, we all have to get in cryo just for the privilege... Well, some of us do. Andrew, I... I don't know what to say. Burton not need us. Oh and yeah, look at he's plugging that in. You. Well, I'm not doing it. I'm not getting in cryo. I'm not... I'm gonna be the same one here. You know, nobody even considered that VT might come pick us up in time if we just wait. Nobody oh, even God. considered it. Listen, just... Don't talk to anybody else about this for now, okay? And, and if I were to call the crew into medical, you'd show up, right? I guess it depends what it is. Okay. Just... Give me a little time. You okay there, Andrew? How are you feeling? Just angry right now? Dude, I don't blame you. Hey, Odin. Yes, Andrew? What should I do? What do you mean? I don't know. I... I just want to go home. I understand. Do you? I believe that I do. Can you tell me the average time it's taken VT to send an evac crew to investigate situations like this? Mm. The average time between a remote facility losing ground contact and an investigative crew arriving on site is 98.4. Hours. That's a long God time. Please try not to be worried, Andrew. <laughs> it's easy for you to say. You don't have lungs. So, what do you think we should do? Standard operating procedure requires all crew to engage cryogenic hibernation until help arrives. This is uh, so you know, sad. People die in cryo, right? I know. Sometimes. It's such a long time. They only had three days in cryo. If, uh... <laughs> If we don't make it out of this, can you deliver a message to my family? Aww. I will do everything in my power. Okay. I'll, uh... I'll send you something later, alright? Of course. Oh, we actually saw that message earlier. In the other room, when they were in medical. Because this is like, just moments before he called everybody into medical to get their uh, examinations. I hear something from Mark. Andrew? I'm not talking about who's paying the bills. I'm talking about Nicholas. See you every four months, and that's not even taking my feelings into account, which I'll just set aside for now. You might not th think he's showing it, but Nicholas really wishes you were here. Listen, if you get back on our contract renewal, we'll figure out a way to make it work. You know my parents did well in the currency crash. Currency crash. My dad always says, blank, I just want you home. Relying on our parents' charity is our solution. I'm building equality or equity here. My loyalty will pay for Nicholas's school, and if I fall back out of this contract, we'll lose that, and I am not probably leaving. Don't appreciate this emotional sabotage when you know blank. Really getting hard to feel appreciated. Listen, I'm sorry, I'm just blank. Okay. Alright, that's probably during the crash, maybe. Okay, so it looks like him and his husband are having problems. My message was Evie, so I guess I should just carry on as normal. We don't have much time. We need to make a contingency plan. But VT is supposed to come pick us up, right? Within 24 hours? Listen, just increase our oxygen supply in short term if worse comes to worse. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, this is so crazy. All right. And then with Natalie, there really is no way of getting a signal out. There must be something you haven't tried yet. No, Andrew. All comms are routed through secured VT laser array, and it's been destroyed. With the redundancies were destroyed. Stop messaging me. Okay, so he's really freaking out, and he's freaking out everybody else. It sucks. Poor Andrew. You're just gonna be down here by yourself for a little bit? Oh, look at that, our oxygen supply. Fine, fine, crash, woo! We're going back up now. Well, looks like this will work. 
just a few extra hours anyway. Is there anything else down here that I should be looking at before I leave? Let's see. What's this? Oh, cigarettes. Someone's down here smoking when they probably shouldn't. Oh, what's this? Stone shaping! Oh! There's the stone. We found it. Okay. Thanks, Odin. Alright, let's put okay. this in your office. Evie, I... Hello? Let's see. Oh, thanks, Okami, for the 15 bits. I really appreciate it. Alright, let's put this in his office. Where was his office at? It's under food supply. Here we go. There we go. Ha ha! That's the stone, right? It's one of those mud balls that people can make. I've never tried that. I really want to, though. Do those little mud balls where you shape it and polish it. I'll catch up with you all later, then. Alright, let's rewind all the way to Sarah. So she should be down here. I believe that. Sarah, where'd you go? I don't know. There you are. <laughs> Merit broke. Oh, Sarah. Odin, I'm freaking out. Oh, I'm Sarah. Out. Close your eyes. I did already. A light wind rustles the green tall grass. Your skirt billows gently. Warm sun caresses your back. Yes. You begin walking forward. The grass is cool. Mm, this is really hard to watch. Oh. Feet parted with each step. Do you see what is in front of you? As I step through the grass, I naturally come upon a path. Yes. This is so hard to watch. The, the dirt of the path is soft on the soles of my feet. I don't know what's going to happen to us, Odin. Sarah. <laughs> I am striding forward confidently upon my appointed path. Wherever it takes me is where I am meant to be. I am striding confidently on my appointed path. Sarah? Yes, Odin? Are you going to be alright? I think so. This is so oh. sad. Do you think you could get everyone to medical? I want to make sure they've got the best shot at waking back up once they do go in. Uh, all right. How about this? Let's give folks a little time to read. Poor Sarah. But why don't Clive and I follow you over there right now and get ours done? No time like the present. Lead the way. That was so hard to watch. That one was a lot harder to watch than the rest of them. Oh, no, man. That was... That was that was tough. What's this? Jazz. All right. And yet they cannot be there for them, not as a human. Somehow I feel sorry, even though Odin has to watch his people attach. Yeah, it's that's hard. It kind of reminds me of the movie Moon. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that with um, uh, Sam Rockwell, where he's like on a station on the moon and he has to do all this stuff and uh he lives with a oh oh what and he lives with a uh, kevin spacey who plays a robot it's such a good movie but yeah it's kind of depressing like this okay odin ready i'm gonna do it this time revenge spitfire revenge oh he's playing a game that one's broken Bill would have repealed the Human Oversight Accord, opening the door to ambitious Ventura's Belt project. 
Uh, space travel and hospitality corporations like Venturas are seeing their profits shrink as uh, something blank. Uh, okay, so this is where he buys the bungalows. And the stock has dropped to an all-time low following the uh, vote, continuing public outrage from those who have prepaid the Venturas timeshare property. Oh, shit. So I guess now is the time to buy a property from them, right? Oh, and there's his family. Christmas. Choo-choo. Cute. Off Stace's message. Yes, I opened it. And? I'm not sure I get it. You need to pass them out to the rest of the crew so they're not blinded by the glare of your damn shiny scalp. Nicholas. Happy birthday, Dad. Oh, what'd you get? Oh, he's playing a VR game with Sarah. What are you doing in here, Sarah? Oh, Sarah plays too. Okay. What did you get? Oh, I see what happened. Nicholas, his son, bought him a bunch of sunglasses to pass out to everybody so he doesn't get blinded by his scalp. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's see, squash. Squash. Okay. That's hilarious. I like how they're playing the VR game. It's pretty cool. Oh man, VR would be so awesome with those little uh, alternate reality um, nodes that you put in your head. You wouldn't even have to use a freaking uh, goggles. It'd be amazing. You knew the contents of the box before you saw it. Uh, you're already on. You're like a light years ahead, French. Hi, Andrew. Sorry you couldn't be here for the de dedication ceremony, but it was really lovely. Even Nicholas seemed moved. We found your grandmother's entry. Here's a f photo. We'll visit together, but you're home. We'll visit together when you're home. Love, Mark. Oh, that's sweet. Amazon University. Let's see. Gardens of Versailles. Oh, Versailles is so pretty. Me and Ash went there. Very pretty. What's this? Protein. Paper. Got a lot of stuff in here. What's in his what's in his special drawer? Alright, it looks like he is a smoker. He's got these gross cigarettes. He also has softlets. Those are tissues. Lotion. Protein snacks. Okay. What's this? Oh, moon goddess. Oh, this is the picture of his grandmother. Shiwa. Oh, that's very sweet. What's this? This is Cake Bites. The Democratic Eastern Coalition's finest performing arts training campus. Rotated, or rated number one in corporate performing arts placement. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for allowing us to show you and your talented son, Nicholas, around the Cutting Edge Campus. As the DEC's leading performing and augmented arts educational institution, AU Buffalo is proud to be the number one destination for talented students like Nicholas, whose ambitions drive them to forge a meaningful career in the arts. You've expressed interest in discovering more about financial options to enable your son's education. We are happy to accept loyalty from international recognized corporate institutions, including the Venturas family and corporate entities, as competitive rates. And if Nicholas is able to secure a position with Amazon Original Content, following graduation, we offer tuition forgiveness. Oh, it's really nice. Wish most schools do that. Okay. Well, this is a really sweet little area. Oh, look at this! Homework is more, or homework is more important than fun. Love, Nicholas. Have a good year in space. I like how the plants all have bubbles. That's so cute. And it, you can see his head's very shiny because it has little window marks. Very shiny. What is that orange thing on the table next to his mug? I think it was just a generic orange. See? Orange. Oh. This is sad, because he obviously had a family that he wanted to come back to. This is much harder now to like look at all this stuff. What's this? Huh. Oh, look, he has one of these space toothbrushes. With peppermint clove, fluoro fresh. Fluoro fresh. Interesting. Okay, well, it looks like they like to play video games together, which is kind of cool.